Welcome back to a Stormworks video, and today we are doing a composite tutorial. In this video, I'll be going over composite with things like seats and missiles. I'll be going over things like composite lines, and lastly, or let's tie with the composite lines, we have composite what I call decoding so first let's just do composite decoding for say so we're gonna need an instrument panel instrument panel and you can choose dials indicators gauge air er buttons arrows flip switch seven segment whatever that is oh that's cool um what i would what i'm doing for this tutorial is the flip switch make sure that's channel one the next one is channel two next one is channel three and the next one is channel four i'll go over i'll tell you why in a moment but first switch all these to a flip switch it'd just be the easiest for this do 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 flip switch and flip switch once they're all flip switches you're gonna want to enter your microcontroller editor I'm just gonna do composite oh. and a composite decoder you're going to need either a 1 by 5 or a two by three yeah or two by three just for the best usage all depends I'm going to do a one by five next you're going to want to put five nodes make the first one say output one next one output two Next one, output three. Next one, output four. And then do this one, input. Just kind of put an input. Switch this one to composite. And I'm just going to order these up. So this is one, this is four. So I'm going to put two there. Put three. Oh, that's two. Never mind. And now they're all lined up. One, two, three, four. And you want to make these all outputs. So the way it is, is you're going to take the composite line from this composite output. It's going to go into the decoder. And it's going to take, and it's basically going to say when the first switch, when the first flip, flip switch is flipped output a signal on composite on the composite channel one which then can be turned either to a number or a on off go back into here I don't really need a description so we'll go and now we're going into here so put your input here put output four on the bottom three there two there and one there so that they're like this. Next, you're going to want to put this somewhere further back so you have room for the composite read. I have I like having everything nice and compact. So you're gonna you're actually gonna need four of these, one for one for each channel. And if it's all a bit confusing, there are other tutorials, but just watch this one. You put the composite lines in here, you switch this one to composite line 2. Next one to 3 and next one to 4. So basically what this means is this is the first flip switch, this is the second, this is the third, and this is the fourth. Now you just hook up the on off. Alright, you're ready now. Just save it and...
just do that and exit. Type in. I don't know if this is. Is this the one we built? It is the one we built. Now place it anywhere on your build. Take the composite out signal, put it into your input. And I'm just going to do flares for this test. I'm going to have four flares. One here, 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 and here. Now you can name them. I'm going to... Ooh. I honestly didn't know this could... Honestly, I didn't know it, this existed. That's actually really cool. Anyway, so next, you're gonna you could name all of them, but take your take the output. So output one is in there. Output two goes into there. Output three goes there, and output four goes there. And just for this test, I'll put a base. All right, spawn them in, and it's basically how it works. So you have the first, yeah, the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. You can name them. So one, and oh okay, wait, that's four. Yeah. So you have one, two, and three, and then the players would get launched. That's all you need, then that's the, um, that's the on-off for the instrument panel. You can also change this to a dial and have something go in to, to it to display on there. But you don't necessarily need that, and that one gets a bit more complicated. We'll do that in another video. And all the others are really the same for on off. You have an indicator, which needs an input signal, which it would be a composite input gauge, which is composite input, air, uh, composite uh, output, composite output, input, input, and input. All right, next part. I'm going to move to a different hangar because we have flares here. I'll just go out in the launch pad. Next part, we are going to do things like composites with seats. And I don't even need to show it to you, although I will just for an example. Grab your seat or your favorite seat, whatever you want to do. Compact pilot seat is what I normally do. Place it down. And it, as you notice, you have your composite, and this is a bit complicated, but you have on all so outputs the access hotkey and all that thing and all that stuff. All right, in brackets you have hot key, you have on off one plus hotkeys. Meaning, so you have so you have the basic six here, or you could also have it so that you, nothing's coming out of this. But when you press the six key. When you press the six key, it causes it to come out of the comp in the seat data instead. All right, so we're gonna build another microcontroller for this. This one's gonna be a lot simpler. It's just gonna be a single one by two with two inputs, with two uh, one input one output, a composite input and a and an on off or number output. Here, I'll just do one extra just for an example all right so now we have this will be number and we'll switch this to number and make sure it's an output well this is a composite input and make this an on off output Next, you're just going to go into your logic. You're going to move this here, move that there, put that right here. Next, you're going to need a composite read on off, put it on the top side, and a composite read number. And you're going to want to put that there. 
They're just going to hook up the composite. And here's where it gets a bit more complicated. So for this would be channel 1 in this case would be when the 1 key clicked. When 2 key clicked, when 3 key clicked, when 4 key kick clicked, 5, 6, 7, 8, or no, not 7, 8, 9. It would be Hotaz controls, meaning you can customize them from 8 onwards all the way to 31. You, have, you can customize all of these. And then, same thing for the values. W and S might be 1. A and D is channel 2, I think. Up, down is channel 3. And left, right with the arrow keys and all, and all that. So just for this test, all I'm going to be doing this. So now I just got to save this with a... With a... Oh, I spelled that wrong. C-O-M-P... With it, I'm just going to put composite seat. And it is exit. I made a mistake. Forgot to name it. Oh. There we go. Composite seat. First, let's just build a quick base. And put this right here on the back. On the back. There we go. Next, take your seat output, put it into seat data. I'm going to have a light, an indicator light, to show you when the one key is pressed. And I'm going to have a a uh, throttle to show you the number. Now, for for the best experience, I would recommend changing the num the um, value one is A and D actually. So I would recommend putting A and D to sensitivity as 100, sensitivity as 100, so it's a lot easier. Next. Hook up the numbered. What? Oh, I did that wrong. My bad. So I'll just do the indicator light in this case. Yeah, to put it into a throttle is going to be a bit more complicated. Yeah, I'll just do a dial. That way you guys can still see. It's also going to be a bit easier that way because it's just going to pop up and pop right down. Now you can set it to lower sensitivities for something to be less sensitive, but for now I'm just going to do high sensitivity for it to re for it to react rapidly. All right, you click one. Oh, I don't have infinite electricity on. And then you press D. It's, it's extremely sensitive, so it's going immediately. But if I were to, let's say, turn down the sensitivity to a lower amount, to the default, actually, you'll see it goes up at a steady amount instead of instantaneously. Which is really nice. Next, just, oh, well, that's it for this tutorial. I know I said I'd do the missile composite, but it's no different from the seat composite. You just read the, you just read the, the, the composite lines, I guess you could say. You go into composite, you read radar data, and output uh, data for, t for up, to, uh, up to eight targets. On off one to eight, target one found, target two found, etc. Values one to thirty two, target one distance, target one amazeth angle, target one elevation angle, target one time sense detection, and so on.
that's really all there is. And this is just the X and Y data for the what the missile radar picks up. Anyways, that's that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.